So we're just about to put the, the decking on. Just thought I'd walk through a few things to make sure we get it all done right. Uh, by the way, if you like this video, give her a thumbs up. That helped me to make produce more videos for you. So you can learn some more. First of all, before you put your decking on, it's a good time to just pause and ask yourself, do I got everything in it? Do I have my hangers in? Yes. Do I have my blocking in for my my railing? Yes. Do I have my blocking in for my pitcher frame? Yes. So if all that blocking's in, bridge blocking, now we're good to go. So first of all, we want to line up so we get our first first deck board in here. I like to overhang my deck boards off the side just a little bit here about one inch so I just mark that over here where we know where the what the mark is we measure that and that's actually four and a half inches I'm not actually going to install the first deck board first we want to install the second deck board because this one we want to have a miter cut here for our picture frame so I come over here, mark my four and a half inches. And the reason for the, the chalk line is the chalk line allows us to straighten our joist board because it may or may not be straight. Got the screw hole the other end of the chalk line. Run a line over here. Snap it, snap it once, snap it twice. Just get your nice little line there. Now, I don't like face fasteners because they look ugly, they collect dirt, and they collect, and they, they just look ugly. What can I say? So we are gonna use camo edge fasteners here. here. Marksman Pro to help hold you in there. Inside the kit, come a a driver and that allows you to, to drive the screws and set them there and tells you when to let go of it. So first of all, we get our board lined up on our, our chalk line. This one happens to have a lot of overhang because we're using 16 foot boards and our deck is through a 13 foot six. Now we're gonna have a picture frame here. So that allows us this little ugly piece here. We can just overhang that because that's gonna get cut off. Make sure we're lined up right on our chalk line. Load up our, our Camel Pro fastener. Take the impact driver. Camel actually recommends drill. I like impact drivers, so that's what I use. And then as you're working your way over here, you gotta do your little corrections to make sure you're on your chalk line. So I'm going to look over here, make sure I'm right on my chalk line. Set my screws. So one of the advantages of camel screws over other screws, besides the fact they work beautifully for the machine, is this little edge point here. So that's a self-drilling bit. So I have a pointed, rather than a pointed screw, it actually kind of cuts through like a drill bit, minimizing the splitting of the wood. So then we set our deck in here. It actually rips through it, actually. So don't try this at home, kids, because it's a little bit dangerous on your hands. But if you take a look really close here, the self-drill and screw head. Uh, you would actually drilling out the wood and the deck in there so then it doesn't split on you. But it's always better to use your Camel Pro Fast. Sparksman Pro there, hold it in place. Like I said, as you work your way along the decking, always make sure you straighten it. Another advantage of the Marksman Pro here, these little clips here that are actually hold it in place, are actual spacers too. So I make sure that all your decking is correctly spaced. You can buy different different sizes of spacers, but this one's 516, which works good for most wood decking, especially if it's a little bit green, which doesn't mean the color, but there's a lot of moisture still in this decking. So 
once we set her up, it's going to start drying, get your caps even a little bit bigger. Which, if it's really green, you should move down an eighth inch spacer, but we don't need to go that, that dramatic. So, I think we practically got our first board going. Now we're ready to jump up on the deck and finish it all out.